Let's start first with some of the earnings from the big oil companies because it's been a real mixed bag. Uh, you've got Royal Dutch Shell, Total, Eni, Equinor coming in with misses, Exxon, Chevron meantime coming in with beats along with BP. What's the common thread that links all of these companies' results? Uh, yeah. Essentially, with, uh, with the companies that have beat uh, BP, uh, Exxon, Chevron, uh, some of them have been helped, with, helped by more oil output. Uh, in the American companies' this case, it's especially due to the Permian Basin output. Uh, in Exxon, uh, Exxon has a doubled output there. Uh, that helped it. Uh, but, the, but the theme really is that if you look at all their earnings, there are challenges. Uh, with uh, Chevron and Exxon, they got a tax break from Alberta, which helped their earnings. Uh, in Chevron's case, there was also a breakup fee uh, from Anadarko. Without those numbers, the numbers don't look as good. Mm. Uh, so there's demand is still falling. Um, their refining business is struggling. Uh, gas price, natural gas prices are down a bit, so that's a speed bump as well. So those those things they will have to you know get over in the coming quarters and they're tackling a very difficult backdrop here particularly when we see the brutal week that we have for commodities particularly oil it, how is the trade war spilling in across the entire commodity sector that is very interesting because over the past several weeks uh, we had actually concerns about supply in the mm. commodities market uh, tensions in the Middle East are still simmering uh, you know there was uh, bad weather in the US which hit crop planting um, you know, there's a, there's a pig disease which, which is uh, killing yeah. pigs in, in China. Uh, so this, this was boosting prices, but now, uh, because of Trump's move, all of that has, has been forgotten by investors, and now the main concern is demand across the commodities uh, world. And that's what you can see in prices right now. So that's overwhelming all these supply, uh, supply risk concerns. And oil, as you can see, has taken a beating. All commodities are taking a beating. The Bloomberg Commodity Index is down about 2% for the week. 